Hello, friends. I am Finish Lily. This video is part of my chemical process typing channel on YouTube. This video is about typing isometrics. Why isometric drawings are required, generally in the development of a project, a conceptual to be drawing is first created. In this all pipelines are drawn at zero Z coordinate. This is then converted into a 3D scale model to check interference of pipelines. 2D general arrangement GA drawings are used for fabrication on site. A GA drawing is generally on a zero or a one side paper and contains a lot of lines and may not be easy to understand pipe routine. A zero or a one side drawing is too big to handle. The pipe fabricator can understand GA drawing better only with the help of 3D scale model. The 3D scale model can't not be put on paper, and 3D scale model does not indicate dimensions. To aid pipe fabricator on site, isometric drawings are prepared. An isometric drawing is generally on the A3 side paper. The pipe fabricator can read the drawing and understand pipe routine easily. Also, pipe fabricator can pick up material required for fabrication of pipe line from stores with the help of bill of material given in isometric drawing. Piping isometrics is 2D representation of a 3D pipe routine. It is generally printed on the A3 size paper. One pipe line is drawn on one sheet. The line may continue into a more drawings if two lines are similar, suction lines of two pumps to two are drawn on one sheet. Isometric drawing is important for a pipe fabricator. He can interpret it along with to the piping plan for proper layout. It is easier for him to get exact piping materials required from the storehouse. ISO versus orthographic. Simplicity only one pipe line is drawn in one eight three size paper. In the orthographic view that is not a problem if the pipe runs in one plane, but when a pipe runs into or three planes north to south, then down and then to the west, etc. An orthographic view can be unclear. More number of drawings needed in orthographic views than ISO to represent the same piping system. Sectional views are required for clarity of pipe reading. Unlike orthographic drawings, piping isometric drawings allow the pipe line to be drawn in a manner by which the length, width, and depth are shown in a single view. Isometrics are usually drawn from information found on the plan and sectional elevation views. The symbols that represent fittings. Valves and flanges are modified to adapt to the isometric grip. The ISO, as isometric is commonly referred, is oriented on the grip relative to the north arrow found on plan drawings. Because ISOs are not drawn to scale, accurate dimensions are required to specify exact lengths of piping run. Pipe lengths are determined through calculations using coordinates and elevations. Vertical lengths of pipe are calculated using semi-line elevations of pipe lines, while horizontal lengths are calculated using north-south and east-west coordinates. Piping isometrics are generally produced from orthographic drawings and are important pieces of information to engineers. In very complex or large piping systems, piping isometrics are essential to the design and manufacturing phases of a project. Piping isometrics are often used by designers prior to a stress analysis and are also used by draftsmen to produce shop fabrications for drawings. Isometrics are the most important drawings for installation contractors during the field portion of the project. A piping isometric drawing is a 2D drawing in which piping is represented like a 3D drawing. In CAD drawing, only X and Y coordinates are used to draw entire drawing. Isometric layout, isometric lines can be in vertical direction and two other directions at 
30 degrees from horizontal all directions that the pipe may match the three isometric axis lines. Isometric is popular within the process piping industry because isometric can be drawn and read with ease and shows the piping in a realistic view. Isometric is used along with plans and sectional elevations, but typically isometric is used to supplement the plan drawings. Isometrics are used as fabrication and shop drawings for fabrication of run of a pipe. Isometrics also provide a director with the ability to calculate angular offsets in the pipe run. Isometrics are drawn on B side paper 11 inch by 17 inch in imperial units and on 83 side paper 297 millimeter by 210 millimeter in metric units. Drawing number and revision number is indicated in box on top left corner. Drawing number and revision number is also shown in title box. In top left corner, the north direction is shown. It matches with the north direction of the piping plant drawing. The isometric drawing number and revision is also indicated. the lower right corner, title block of company is inserted, which also shows drawing number. Line number and notes are also written above it. Below the isometrics, reference drawings, and details of drawing revisions is given. The line may start from nozzle of an equipment such as a vessel or pump. Indicate nozzle number and equipment tag near nozzle. In some cases, pipe line may originate from some other line. Indicate line number of that pipe line, its center line elevation, and isometric drawing number of that pipe line. Typical isometric of the line. This drawing shows a control station. All dimensions and elevations are mentioned in the drawing. To draw an isometric, start from one end of pipe. Locate north direction of piping plan and follow proper direction and elevations on piping plan to reach the other end. Build of material for the line. Horizontal distances are measured on the piping plan and inserted in isometrics. The elevations given in piping plan are written online. The difference in elevation is the vertical dimension. Indicate both end points of the pipeline. The drawing is not drawn to scale. The pipe length in drawing depends on complexity of that portion of line. Details of built of material used. Branches of the pipe run or continuation are placed on other drawings, typically shown a short portion of dashed line on main pipe run. Dashed line show pipe continuation. The reference drawing information is given for continuation. One run of pipe is drawn in one isometric drawing. If one pipe run cannot be accommodated in one drawing, pipe run is continued in next drawing. Two identical pipe lines to similar section lines of two pumps are generally drawn in one isometric drawing. Isometrics are rarely drawn to scale. Along the pipe, unless it may be shown shorter, if pipe line does not have any fittings in it. However, the small length pipe may be shown with longer length to show all the fittings in that portion of line. However, Pipe lengths should be shown accurately. If isometric is limited by space, so sometimes proportion may be sacrificed, but it is important that the written dimensions are accurate. If the pipe is vertical, the lettering should be written vertically at a 30 degrees of lead angle. Text in dimension in vertical lines. 
should always be parallel with dimension line. Direction and location. Location and direction helps to orient the isometric drawing properly. Structural reference points that provide location with columns along the grid can be shown on isometric. Dimensions must always be given two points of reference, such as structures, center line of existing equipment, etc. Coordinates should also be shown on the isometric drawing. When orienting fitting for valves, it is important to draw the fitting for valves so that they are inclined to the last direction change or branch in the pipe. Fitting for valves are drawn the same shape as they appear on the plan and elevation drawings, but they are drawn at an isometric angle. If you are sketching with the help of plan drawings, use the difference in the elevations of two adjacent lines as length of the vertical line. For horizontal lines, use the distance between two pipes. To get length of the pipe, mark length of each pipeline on each line in the sketch of isometric drawing. Use branching table to select end connection of elbows. Normally, elbows with MV less than 50 are socket weld or screwed, and elbows with MV greater than 40 have but weld ends. Elbows can be drawn in a couple of ways. The change is generally implemented at isolating valve or at flange of different pressure rating. The step of valve depends on fluid in this and next pipeline or pressure ratings of this and next pipeline. Demarcation is shown between new and existing pipe step and reference line number, drawing number and sender line elevation is indicated for new drawing. Usually a note indicates the name or specification of the branch line. Offset to indicate an offset. Hatches on isometric drawings are applied to indicate that a pipe runs at a certain angle and in which direction the pipe runs. Offset is shown with a fitting typically like a 45 degrees elbow. Horizontal offset is a line turns at 30 degrees to 45 degrees in horizontal plane. You draw the pipe with a 45 degrees elbow a pipe line will look like the vertical line. To avoid confusion, the offset is drawn 22 and half degrees horizontal offset to give the illusion of the angle. Vertical offset is a line turns at 30 degrees to 45 degrees in vertical plane. You draw the pipe with a 45 degrees elbow. In this case, too, to avoid confusion. The offset is drawn 22 and half degrees vertical offset to give the illusion of the angle. Dimensioning. Dimensions should preferably appear above if the pipe line is horizontal and on left hand side. If the pipe line is vertical, best way to dimension the pipe line is between its center line at the intersection point. Try to keep all dimensions outside the piping view when possible. Dimensions should always be shown between points in the same plane. One of the extension lines of the dimension should be a center line of the run of pipe. Checklist for isometric drawings. Check whether P and ID number and GA drawing number is correct. Check line number in title block. Check whether direction of flow and other details are as per P and ID. Check details of vents and drains, dimensions of vent from high point slash drain from bog or low point. Field weld should be provided for every 12 meter of pipeline. If some exact dimension is not known, like infrared of pump or length of valve, provide a field fit weld. Add 150 millimeter to the length of pipeline in bomb table and indicate plus 150 below tag of dimension. If straight length of pipe exceeds 4 meters, provide a field fit well and indicate plus 150 below tag of dimension. Check sizes of all fittings and per standard. Check proper symbols for P, globe and check valves.
Provide tag numbers to every cut pipe and all fittings. Different types of fittings should have different numbers. These tag numbers should match with those in bond table. Lengths of pipes should be exact cut lengths. Spool numbers to be given to all spools. The number is same and drawing number with A, B, C, D, etc. added to spool. For instruments, show piping scope and instrument scope. For F, E, show tapping in proper directions, size, length and detail. Show spec change in any size for TG should be 200 millimeters and for pi should be 40 millimeters. If line is continuing in other drawing, C O D indicate I F the number of that pipe line or right field run for small pipe lines. The reference elevation should be indicated at least at one point. Proper symbol for the well. Socket well and screw connection. If an ISO has more than one line, the number of main lines should be written in title block, and numbers of other lines under this drawing include match line for split drawings and dotted lines for pipe lines from other drawings. Hatching for angular details. Horizontal hatch for horizontal turn and vertical hatch for vertical turn. Indicate angle of turn. Dimensions should be provided for three sides. Central window for three lines. Special fitting should be marked properly with a tag number and tag should reflect in bond table. Tag number of valve should be written below the valve and should reflect in bond table. Check fittings and percent and branching table. Indicate sign of gasket for valves in dimension. Indicate nozzle number for equipment. If meeting flange of a pump is supplied by pump vendor, indicate it on drawing. If an end of pipe line is open, indicate open end on drawing. Show spec break if any. Show cloud for hold. Show insulation for insulated pipelines. Show special specs like rubber line or SS, 3D bent for part insulation. For reducing T and reducers, indicate size and type as per step and branching table. For OLEDs, indicate MB of branch. Check a leaking angle for all texts and dimensions. Provide weld numbers in direction of flow. In bond table, none of these should be in order. Pipes, valves, fittings, gaskets, and stud bolts. The line should be left blank between these groups. Check cross-reference drawings and check details in title block. Thanks for learning. If you like this video, please give a like to my channel and subscribe it.